Hey everyone and welcome to this video. Thank you for clicking on to watch. I'm going to be doing a refrigerator, <laughs> a refrigerator and pantry deep clean and organizing session today. I was going to wait until I put her down for a nap to film this, but someone is teething. Her top tooth is coming in. So we have the low grade feeder not wanting to be put down. <laughs> um, all the fun teething things. So um, nap is not even in sight right now, but um, <clears throat> thought this would kind of get me kick started into the spring cleaning kind of mode. Yeah, spring cleaning mode. So we've already went through one shelf and the little island here is full. So I'm gonna organize that by sections, make sure nothing hasn't expired. Um, and kind of sort through that and then put that back and just take it one shelf at a time. I think that's the best way to go right now, so. Okay, so several hours later, she did it up taking a nap, but we're gonna get started on the second shelf. I told you this would be a slow, long process, but it's okay, cause I can speed things up. Being a homemaker is definitely a skill that has to be learned and worked at. So I try to remind myself that in these mundane kind of tasks, like cleaning and organizing things, that I am developing a skill. This is more for crackers and chips. These are like small snacks, like lunchbox snacks. And this is breakfast, which I've obviously have got to work on that bin for um, in our grocery order for tomorrow. And clean the pantry. So gotta add some more stuff up there. We had a huge mess yesterday. Ellie grabbed a glass um, jar of sugar and it spilled all over the floor. <laughs> so everything from the bottom of the pantry had to be taken out. Okay, so not too, too different, I guess, from when I did it last, but this is what works for me right now. So I have some cereals up here um, that I just unbag so I can remind myself that I need to eat them my flowers. I have some um, macaroni and cheese box stuff back there. So I did get to fill this up a little bit more with breakfast items. This um, still kind of looks the same with um, like snacks, lunchbox snacks, and then these are crackers and chips. Restocked some of these bins, um, all my breads, and that there's also some like refill stuff. Um, this is what my sugar is in now since she broke my glass thing that looked like this. Um, all over the floor. So this is what my sugar's in. I'm gonna try to replace um, a jar, to a glass jar, because I just love the glass jars. Baking supplies back there, and then canned goods, and all my tea collection. And please tell me that everyone has this, a little uh, bin of just sauces, random sauces from everywhere. <laughs> please tell me I'm not the only one. And then I have some solo cups. Ellie snacks, some chicken broth and stuff like that, some more flour down there that won't fit at the top, and some bottled waters, and the good old potato and onion situation. Okay, so today is Saturday. I think I started this vlog or project, this pantry refrigerator project at the beginning of the week, but we have had a rough few days. Ellie's tooth is like still not come through, but I'm gonna wrap up this project today if it takes me all day. Um, I do have some exciting things planned today. Not sure all of them will happen, but the main goal for today is to get the fridge and the pantry just done. The pantry is pretty much done, um, but we will see if we can just get this part done. A very long process, but hanging in there. So let's get going while she's still taking a nap.
So next I'm going to start going through the refrigerator, taking out all the old things, the leftovers, and um, just getting rid of those. I'm gonna wait to actually clean the shelves until some of my rags are out from the washing machine. It's kind of turning into a get it all done, catch up kind of um, Saturday because it's raining and just dreary. So I have a bunch of laundry to do after I go through the refrigerator and pantry. Uh, finish that project. So I'm gonna get her up and then get started on the fridge. So I am in another outfit change and that is because Saturday got busy, life happened, and it just didn't happen. <laughs> so three days later, I'm picking up this project and I do finish it. Um, I was like, I've got to get this done. So just grabbed everything out of the fridge put it on my little island and started wiping down the shelves with just some Method all-purpose cleaner. And if you are ever just wondering, you know, how a mom does it all day, doing everyday tasks with one hand, then my videos are just gonna be perfect for you. <laughs> because as you can see, I am doing this with one hand and Ellie in the other. Not complaining about it though, I know that these days will not last long, so I am cherishing every moment. She'll want to be walking soon and won't want me to pick her up at all. She'll be Miss Independent. So I know some people are like, don't hold your baby all day, but I'm sorry, I'm going to hold my baby all day. <laughs> Anyways, I gave the fridge a little break. We had lunch and she got her green beans all over me. So not another day, just another outfit change because green beans happened and they got everywhere. But I was finishing up this project. And then finishing the refrigerator side up, I just got all the sauces out, some sweet sauces, syrups, things like that, some pickly stuff, barbecue sauces, some Asian sauces. Josh loves cooking teriyaki, hibachi, anything like that. So reorganized all those, made sure they were on date, stuck everything back in, and the refrigerator side is done. As you can see, it may look like there's not a lot in there. Number one, the next day was grocery day. And number two, I learned from early on in our marriage that we would stock our fridge full and then waste a ton of stuff. So again, that less is more of you. I'll eat the stuff that's actually in the fridge when I see we don't have a lot. So that just works better for us. But again, I know we have way more than most people in the world have. So for that, we are just grateful. Alright, so I'm going to put pretty much everything else back after I sort through, throw away anything that I need to in the freezer. My freezer is not really stocked, it's pretty empty. And then I'm going to sort through my breast milk and make sure I'm using them in the right order because it's getting a little jumbled up. As I'm closing this out, I did want to just mention that I think this is part of being a homemaker making your home more functional. I don't think it's always having to bake bread or sew your own clothes but just simply being a good steward of what God's given you, I think that's a huge part of being a homemaker. All right guys, that is a wrap. Finally finished after like a week of um, coming back and forth to the project of cleaning my pantry and my refrigerator. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Not all my content will be like this. I do think a spring cleaning series would be fun. So I'm still up for that. If you guys would like to see that, me cleaning some other spaces, maybe not take a, a whole week for me to clean one space. But you know what? It is that children are such a blessing from the Lord. And even when we have to pause um, to tend to their needs, I try to remind myself that she's learning and she's growing and she's discovering things like how fun this cardboard box is <laughs> so um she is just a blessing from the lord and and i don't always have this positive mindset sometimes i'm like oh my gosh i can't get anything ever done yeah sometimes she's looking at me like oh really mom but it's true sometimes but i am just so grateful for her and like i said children are just the biggest blessings so again thank you guys for watching this it does look like my refrigerator and pantry are empty, but it's because it's Wednesday and tomorrow I'm going to get groceries and to restock this. So, 
that is why it looks like we have no food because tomorrow's grocery day. So anyways, I hope you guys like this video. Please give it a like, subscribe, share, and comment down below if you need to go through your refrigerator or pantry. Um, you can be honest. We're in this together. All right. Thank you guys. Until the next one. Bye.